Hello everybody, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk back again tonight for a new video. Uh, tonight I'm at the movie theater. I had just got out from seeing the new horror film called Barbarian, which released uh, about a month ago now, but I'm just getting around to seeing it. Still kind of doing some catch up on some movies that have been out for a while, but I've been so busy the past couple weeks that I just haven't had time to see them. And this was one that was on my radar almost immediately after it came out because I had heard some pretty pretty good things about this movie from a lot of YouTubers and film reviewers that I trust and that I enjoy their content. Uh, so I was really looking forward to this one. And I gotta say, I really, really like this. Uh, this stars Georgina Campbell, who plays a young woman visiting Detroit, Michigan, and she rents an Airbnb in kind of a rundown neighborhood. And when she gets there, she realizes that the Airbnb has been mistakenly double booked. And that's where she meets Bill Skarsgård's character. And they kind of form a bond a little bit and uh, or a little bit of a friendship. And uh, then they slowly start to realize that everything is not what it seems. <laughs> of course, it's a horror movie and some really weird shit starts going down in the house. And that's really all I'm going to say. This is going to be a spoiler-free review, of course. So as pretty much 99.9% .9 of my reviews are spoiler-free. So you can rest assured that if you have, haven't have seen this movie yet, you will not be spoiled from this, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so this movie, it also stars Justin Long, by the way. Uh, he plays a pretty prominent role in the movie. And I always love him in most movies he's in, but especially the horror movies that he's in. Because I always feel like he chooses unique horror movies to be a part of. Uh, he's probably most famous for Jeepers Creepers, which I haven't seen. But uh, the one that I remember a lot from Justin Long is Tusk, which was directed by Kevin Smith. Came out several years ago. Very wild, bonkers movie, just like this one. <laughs> this is very wild. It's out there. It's a crazy ass movie <laughs> and I really liked it. Um, I can't say that it's a thousand percent like original and different and unique. It didn't like completely blow me away in that regard, but I really liked the, the story that they t tried to tell here. It's directed by Zach Kregers, I believe is how you say his name. He's, uh, I looked him up on Letterboxd and it looks like he's, he's directed a few kind of smaller movies but nothing like big major studio to my knowledge. And I think this is his first outing into the horror world. And I gotta say, he did a really great job with this. The way that this is filmed is unique. It's different. There's a lot of really cool shots that he chose to do. There's a couple POV shots that I thought were really cool. Um, there's one where Justin Long's character is walking through these tunnels underground. And a lot of the movie takes place in these underground tunnels and it's very dark, and you can see the shadows, and he played with uh, the light quite a bit that I thought was really uh, fun and definitely exciting. Kept you on the edge of your seat, the way he kind of would have the flashlight flicker on and off, and so you could see, like, certain uh, things <laughs> creeping out of the shadows. Um, it's not the first time that something like that has been done with a horror movie, but I always think it's good, and it kind of wrapped... Ranch... Ratch? <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak kind of ratchets up the tension a little bit, which I enjoyed. Uh, I do feel like there's a little bit of an underlying message to this movie as well. I mean, the movie deals with um, all kinds of things like uh, the the kind of the recent economic collapse in the United States really since the 1980s with uh, the election of Ronald Reagan, who actually is mentioned, believe it or not, in the movie. There's a reference to Reagan. Um, there's also like some themes of abuse and some really interesting perspectives on that and that's really all I'm gonna say uh, I I really really enjoyed kind of the underlying themes that we're playing on uh, around here but for the most part this is just a really fun really well executed horror flick and there's lots of great gore um, there's a couple scenes of course where people are are killed in the movie and some really creative kills, I gotta say. I, I really like that as well. The um, the entity, I'll refer to it as, that uh, is playing the villain role in the movie, I thought was very interesting and unique. 
and I thought they did a pretty good job with the, the graphics and stuff with that. Um, overall, my thoughts on the movie, it definitely did have a few flaws. I think some of the comedy that they went for didn't really hit home 100%. I thought Justin Long was a pretty good comedic relief kind of guy, but uh, there's some of his jokes that really didn't kind of hit with me. Um, so there is a few things I could nitpick about, but I think overall this was a really well executed horror movie and definitely one that I enjoyed watching and will probably enjoy revisiting whenever it comes out on physical media. Definitely plan on picking this one up. So my grade for Barbarian is four out of five. Uh, that's how it's going in on Letterboxd. I, I really enjoyed this one. If you have a chance to see it, definitely recommend seeing it in the theaters because there's some really good kind of surround sound stuff. Uh, with this movie as well that I enjoyed. I got to watch this all by myself in the theater, which only added to the experience. So uh, that's going to wrap up this video. If you've seen Barbarian already, go ahead and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I hope you all have an amazing spooky season and an amazing week, and I will see you for some more horror movie content coming up later. Have a great day.